Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I'm in Perth, Western Australia, and I'm gonna be starting the Munda Biddy probably today actually. So before I get started, I thought I'd do a bike check and show you the bike and what I'm bringing with me. So this is the bike I'm bringing. It's a giant XTC 29er. It's a hardtail and it's got 100 mil of travel on the front end there. It's a, I think it's a 2013 or maybe 2015 model. So it's not too old, aluminum frame. Got the um, Ergon grips on there. And these are really good because they support your palm and your wrist really well. And your hands don't get as sore, at least in my experience. Got a little cat eye mirror on there so I can see what's behind me. I like to have those on the roads. I fit a set of uh, Profile Designs aero bars to it. These are the T4s. I haven't got them into position yet. I don't know if they're gonna be good or not. I think from my experience last time, it would be nice to have these for some of the longer stretches of road, just to take the weight off my hands and have a bit of a rest, but we'll have to see how that goes. I've got this Rock Bros top tube bag on here already. It was already on there and it's probably just gonna stay right where it is. I've got the Brooks Cambium C17 saddle. This is without the cutout. I've got both these saddles and I have a video Comparing the two, I think I prefer this one, but we're going to give it another test on this trip. The gearing I've got on the back, that's a 40 tooth, the biggest gear. It's got the wolf tooth goat extender, so it can fit with this derailleur. And on the front, we've got Shimano Dior, it's a 40, 30, 22. From my experience last time, easier gearing than this would actually be better, but I haven't got access to anything, so I haven't bothered. Just got a couple of giant side water bottle cages on there so I can get my bottle out when the bag's here. The tires are 2.1 inch wide, I think. And these are actually the same tires I used last time. You can probably see it's a little bit, a little bit worn out on the back there. The front one's pretty good. I'm considering to buy a tire and take it with me. Otherwise I might pick one up if I need it in Collie or maybe manage them up along the trip. Got the mountain bike clipless pedals. And I've got a King Chrome bike pump on there as well, ready to go. Also got a cadence sensor on the crank arm there. Right now I'll go through the gear that I'm bringing and it's pretty much what I'm gonna show you is just about everything. Although I am considering to buy a tent before I leave. At the moment I have a bivy bag and it's lighter, but it's not as nice to sleep in. It gets quite sweaty and it's quite hard to get in and out of, and the uh, mosquito screen is quite close to my face. It's what I used last time, it was okay, but I'm probably gonna buy a tent, we'll see how that goes. All right, so we'll start with the Apertura bags. I'll get all these on the bike, and then I'll tell you about all of them. All right, check it out guys, got all the frame bags on there now. So on the back here, I've got the saddle bag. It's the Apertura large bag, I think it's the backcountry model. I've used it a few times now. It's been on a few long tours with me. It's done pretty well. One thing you've got to watch out for though is if you overfill it and you don't strap it properly, it will drop down and it might hit your wheel, which happened to me and I've just had to patch mine up a little bit. I put like a big piece on there. So if it happens again, it doesn't damage the bag. I've got my old top tube bag on the back here. I'm gonna see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't irritate me and rub my knees too much. Got a new Rock Rose one on the front. I haven't used this yet, but it's a really nice big size. So I think it's gonna be great. It looks really well made too. Then underneath, I've got the, what would you even call this? Under top shoe bag, whatever they call them. Apertura, that's the largest style as well of the back. I think it's the back country. And I should just be able to fit two bottles under here pretty easily. It rubs a little bit, unfortunately, but you do what you have to do. Then I've got the two food pouches here, kind of hidden under the armrests for the aero bars there, but I can still get a water bottle in. And then on the front, the Apodura handlebar bag. This is the large size as well. I definitely recommend getting the larger size of every bag you get, because you're always gonna want more space. Now I'm also thinking that strapped to the front of the bars here, I'll probably strap, if I do get a tent, my tent or maybe my sleeping bag. On top here, I actually, ages ago, I made this mount out of some old aero bars for like a phone or for a uh, 
GPS holder. So I put that on because I found it. That's my quad lock. And then here, that's the mount for the Brighton 330 GPS. All right, now I'm gonna get all my gear out and show you that. Okay guys, so now I've got everything laid out on the floor and looking at it, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'll show you what I'm planning on bringing and then we'll put it on the bike and see how much of it actually fits. So this is some of the food that I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to fit. We'll just have to see. I've just got a couple of kilos of jasmine rice, just one gel that I had laying around, a kilo of oats, some cornflakes that I had left over, a kilo of sugar, some soy sauce, and a little thing of Tabasco. Who knows how much of that's gonna make it on. And then we've got a toilet paper roll. We've got the bike lock. Now that bike lock is a Lockwood chain and a Lockwood lock. Definitely recommend a nice strong high tensile chain. Pair of flip flops, these are the Javianas. You want a good pair of flip flops that aren't gonna break. If you buy the cheapies, they're just gonna break, trust me. Pair of uh, pearl gloves, just uh, the gloves that I always use. Got my Bont cycling shoes. These are like a clip-in system, mountain bike, and it's carbon sole, great shoes. Not 100% sure if I'm taking this yet. It's just a very thin cutting board. I might cut it smaller just so I have something to cut fruit and vegetable on. Here I have the sport, obviously gonna have to take that, and some Tupperware. Now that one's collapsible, which is pretty cool. That is the pop-up by Companion. Here I've got my 360 degrees stove. That's it there, super small, super compact, great little thing. Some butane for it as well. Got some squirt lube there. The good thing about squirt lube is it's wax and it's water soluble, so it's better for the environment. Got a 10 speed chain link here, just in case my chain breaks. Multi-tool, that's a Gerber. This is like the standard Gerber, you know, everyone kind of gets this one. Little can opener. Patches, park tool patches if I have a flat. Here I have the multi-tool, and that's got a chain breaker on it as well, super important. That's a Topeak. Got a moon front light, rechargeable. Just a generic backlight. Some pipe tool tire leaders. Here I've got a couple of the mini Bic cigarette lighters. I've got two in case I lose one. Better to get two little ones than one big one. So here we have all my clothes. I've got two pairs of socks, just ankle socks. These are polyester. I've got a towel, microfiber towel. There's a pair of uh, thermal leggings, a thermal top. That's just a t-shirt to wear when I'm not riding. These are arm and leg warmers, all off eBay, super cheap. Neck buff to keep the sun off and you can put it over your ears as well. A pair of uh, lightweight long johns in case it gets cold. Here I've got a pair of running shorts just to wear when I'm not riding. A North Face, whoops, a North Face uh, thermal, sorry, a North Face fleece. Got my Giro bike shorts. Cycling top. Got a rain jacket here. Four water bottles. Those are two of the slightly bigger ones and two of the slightly smaller camelbacks. I think they're maybe 650 and 550. That's six, so it must be 620 and 720. Some sunscreen. Back there I've got the Camelback. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be coming with us. That's a two litre Camelback. I used that last time and I had a pretty good time with it. I just thought I might be able to get, get away without using it. Here I have some of my sleeping setup. So this is a Nico sleeping bag and it's very lightweight. It's made for the tropics. So I wouldn't really recommend it to try and help with that. I've bought a secondhand Cedar Summit fleece liner, which is actually bigger than the sleeping bag. So really I just need to invest in a better sleeping bag that'll come later. This is just an air pillow. I like to be comfortable. This is an air mattress from REI, the Flash. It's a ultra light air pad. I used it last night, I really like it. Here I've got a cooking pot. This is a Sea to Summit. The Alpha pot, 2.7 liters, really good pot. 
Got a med kit with a few bits and pieces in it. Here I've just got a case for the gimbal and also a microfiber to clean the GoPro lens. Here I've got a bunch of SD cards. That's the helmet mount. I'm not sure how to use it yet, so I'll see if I can put that on. I think I showed you the Sandmark selfie stick for the GoPro. Got a couple of Cedar Summit dry bags here. That one there is for my toiletries. Just got some toothpaste, Colgate toothpaste, toothbrush, nail cutters, and some floss. Then I have the ASOS chamois cream. This one's good because it's vegan cruelty free. Here I've got a couple of lengths of uh, light rope. Might come in handy. Did last time for hanging stuff up. Little microfiber towel here for washing off after the ride. A few lackey bands just if I need them. Here I have, that's shampoo. And this is uh, soap, dish soap. Little sponge here. It's a snake bite compression bandage because there probably still be snakes out there. Although I never saw any last time. Two spare tubes. Here I have a bunch of reusable cable ties. These are great, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there's a little knob on there and you can actually press that and undo it and use it again. You never know when you'll need a cable tie. And these are some straps. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, but I'll probably need a few to strap up the handlebar bag and stop it from hitting the wheel. Now over here, I've got this Link Solar solar panel. I've never really used it. I tested it at my house briefly and I thought it wasn't too bad but I want to try it out on the trail, see if it's actually worth having. But I do have a lot of battery banks. I've got, that's a 20,000 Signat, Raz Power 20,000, that's a 10,000 Anchor, 20,000 Comsol, and a 10,000 Comsol. So hopefully that'll be enough power to get me, well, it'd be good if it got me to Pemberton, but I'm not sure it will. Then I've got my charger. This is a Comsol as well. Highly recommend this one with the three USB and one of the USB-C. I've just got an adapter on there. Couple of cords, you guys don't need to see that, you can imagine. Got my Brighton 330 GPS, wallet, a spare GoPro, just in case anyone, anything happens to this one. Got my Shura Bluetooth headphones, Wanderer headlamp, really good, PCF. This is my uh, PLB, in case I get into trouble, that's all set up and registered now so they know where I'll be. It's a little mirror, I don't know if I'll take that or not. Cycling cap and the helmet. So you can probably see what I mean. That's a lot of stuff. It always looks like more off the bike, but I still think I might be having trouble, especially since I still need to fit a tent. Let's get it all on, and see how we go. Guys, I'm not really sure what to do here. She's at max capacity. So look at this, I've still got to get this dry bag and this pillow in. Check it out. This front bag is like completely full. See that? It's full. This top tube bag's like kind of almost full. That one I don't want too much in because of my legs miss hitting it. This is packed with all the battery packs and there's still one to go in there. Got like Tabasco sauce hanging out here, bottle of water there. Check out this thing, look how packed this is. Look at that. So, I'm not sure if this is classified as ultra light anymore. I mean, I wanna take that just because I don't wanna waste it, might as well eat it. How am I gonna get this last stuff on? Oh, and I also don't even have the tent yet, which I'm thinking is gonna strap on there, but I don't know at this point. I also didn't quite get everything in. So this stuff here hasn't made the cut. I figure I don't really need the Tupperware. I took one length of this, so I shouldn't need two. I can't really be bothered organizing the solar panel. I really don't think it's gonna be much use anyway. I probably, I just can't be bothered cutting this and getting it ready, so I don't think I need it. And one of the rices couldn't fit. Aside from that, I just have the gear that I'm gonna be wearing. I need to sort out a tent. All right, guys, we've got it together this much. Still overflowing like before. Got the selfie stick cable tied on the front there. Gonna go pick up the tent now and hopefully just mount it there, no problem. Remains to be seen. Cornflakes flip-flops on the back. 
tubes on the fork there. Last time I had them mounted under here, but a lot of dust and dirt gets thrown on them. There's not gonna be much better, but I think it will be better than under there. Let's get going. So it seems to be okay so far. Like I said about that saddle bag, everything in it adjusted and it fell down and I heard it just scraping the tire. But luckily that pad I had on there actually saved the bag. I should have been more mindful of it. It's happened twice now. Everything else is feeling pretty good. It's a little heavy, mainly because of all those batteries, but I don't want to get stuck without charge. So I don't know if we're going to make it to this camping store or not. All right, guys, just picked up the tent. Looks pretty good. They had a display in store. It's got like the fly outer cover and then inside the fly, it's all mesh, so you can have it on uh, or you can have the fly off. Now I'm gonna go find a few more Versa straps and that's it, so I hope you like the bike gear check. If you get something out of it, let us know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more videos. Gonna be starting the Mundabitty tomorrow.